Two Richmond County Fire Departments responded to calls involving trampolines following a line of storms that moved through the area on Sunday. Richard Lasseter, Assistant Chief of the Hamlet Fire Department, said a trampoline was picked up from a neighboring yard on Rosemont Avenue and blown into a power line. The East Rockingham Fire Department also responded to a call of a trampoline blown into a cable line on Central Avenue, according to Chief Bill Bayless. Bayless added that the department also responded to a limb that fell across a cable line on Lakeview Trail and a limb across the road on 5th Street, Safi. EFRD also responded to an illegal burn on Sunday. Early Thursday morning, the Hamlet Fire Department responded to a structure fire at a manufactured home on Glenmore Drive off of County Home Road. Lasser said two rooms were burned and there was smoke damage throughout the home. He added that the smoke detector was instrumental in saving the life of the resident. This month, Special Forces candidates will participate in the Robin Sage training exercise held within multiple North Carolina counties, including Richmond, as the final test of their Special Forces Qualification course training. From now until April 11th, students will participate in this exercise before graduating the course and moving on to their first assignments in the Army Special Forces community. Robin Sage is a two-week culmination exercise. The participants are students at the U.S. Army John F. Kennedy Special Warfare Center and School based out of Fort Bragg. All Robin Sage movements and events have been coordinated with public safety officials throughout and within the towns and counties hosting the training. Residents may hear blatant gunfire and see occasional flares. Controls are in place to ensure there is no risk to persons or property. Residents with concerns should contact local law enforcement officials who will immediately contact exercise control officials. Police are investigating the homicide of a juvenile late last week. According to Detective Lieutenant George Gillenwater, a child under the age of 16 was found dead when police arrived on the scene in the area of Rockingham Road and Palisade Circle early Friday morning. Police are not yet releasing the name or age of the victim or a cause of death. Gillenwater also declined to comment when asked if there were any injuries related to the incident. No arrests have been made in this case. This makes the fourth declared homicide within the city limits so far this year. The Richmond girls soccer team extended its winning streak to three matches on Monday. On the road for the first of two away matches this week, the Lady Raiders cruised past Lumberton 4-2. Behind a two-goal effort from junior midfielder Ellie Buck, Richmond and head coach Chris Larson used a pair of goals in each half to earn the victory. Senior forward Jelly McDougald and sophomore midfielder Jennifer Gomez bookended the Lady Raiders scoring. During their current winning streak, the Lady Raiders have outscored their opponents 9-4. The Lady Raiders will have a quick turnaround and return to the pitch on Wednesday at 71st for a varsity-only contest set for 6 p.m. The Lady Raiders softball team continued its winning ways on Monday as Richmond recorded its third Mercy Rule win in its last four games. Extending its winning streak to four, Richmond used a seven-run fourth inning to break the game open, leading to a 15-3 sinking of Lumberton in five innings. During the team's current stretch of wins, the Lady Raiders have sent Pinecrest, Jack Britt, and Lumberton home early in the fifth inning. Richmond's bats have come alive, outscoring its last four opponents 47-7. Entering Monday's SAC game against the Lady Pirates, Richmond head coach Mike Way said the Lady Raiders weren't sure what to expect, but regardless, he said his team was ready to play its style of softball, and it resulted in Richmond's largest win of the early season. Due to 71st not filling a varsity softball team this season, the Lady Raiders won't play on Wednesday. The next SAC game on the schedule for Richmond is a home contest against rival Scotland that is set for Tuesday, April 6th. When we return, we've got your Live at 5 weather report. It's coming up after the break, so stay tuned. Hometown heroes? Well, maybe. When it comes to backyard comfort and no pesky mosquitoes, call Brown Termite and Pest Control at 910-895-6410 or 910-276-8870. Their team of superheroes can take back control of your paradise. That's 910-895-6410 today.
You were always more than my mom. You were my role model, my best friend, and biggest supporter. You filled my days with unconditional love. And you also prepared for the day when you couldn't be here. Because of the woman you were back then, I'm able to be the woman I am now. Your planning made this moment possible. Set your family up for life. Southern Farm Bureau Life Insurance. Your friends for life. JC's in Rockingham has you covered for used appliances, parts, trailers, and storage. We have one of the largest selections of reconditioned washers, dryers, and refrigerators in the Sand Hills, and we offer free delivery to residents inside Richmond County. Come check out our variety of trailers for any hauling job and our storage buildings for the things you need out of the weather or house. We also carry parts and accessories for appliances, trailers, truck beds, and can order the things you need. That's JC's on South Hancock Street in Rockingham. McNair Auto Sales is the place to buy your pre-owned car, truck, or van. To be the best, it takes big selection, friendly staff, and great pricing. We guarantee a no-hassle buying experience, and financing is available right on site. So come see us today. We're located at 1026 East Broad Avenue in Rockingham. And remember, with over 40 years of experience, you know McNair is the name you can trust. At Richmond County Hospice, we strive to provide high quality care to our patients and their families. Whether it's the incredible hospitality at the Haven House or from the comfort of your own home, you can count on hospice to be there for you. We also offer monthly grief support groups and our chaplain will be there to hold your hand in prayer. Through our amazing staff and our volunteers, hospice has made difficult times easier for our community. Call the number on your screen if you feel that you or your loved one may benefit from our services. Richmond County Hospice, peace, comfort, dignity. Your Alive at 5 weather report is brought to you by Sunset Slush. Classic Italian Ice located here in downtown Rockingham. Happy Tuesday, everybody. Hope you're having a wonderful day so far today. The temperature has been rising throughout the day. Pretty decent weather, in fact. Uh, not too bad at all. Getting into the 70s is always a great day for me, at least. Uh, unfortunately, I'm kind of freezing right now in the studio. Uh, we'll much rather be outside enjoying that weather as, as warm as it is. But looking at this evening, we have 6 o'clock at 72 degrees, 10 o'clock 63 degrees. We have party cloudy skies throughout the evening. We have the sunset at 7.38 p.m. with a full moon phase out tonight. Still, once again, tonight. And as we take a look at the highs and lows for tomorrow and what the clouds will be bringing, well, they'll be bringing some rain. We saw this coming from yesterday, and we're going to be seeing it here again. Of course, now as we get closer to it, the uh, chances have gone up a little bit, uh, about a 50 to 60% uh, chance throughout the afternoon. Uh, Fayetteville, a high of 78, a low of 55. Rayford, high of 77, a low of 53. Down in Robeson County, a high of 77, a low of 62, with Warmburg seeing a high of 77 and a low of 54. Over in Rayford, it'd be a high of 77 and a low of 53, with Southern Pines seeing a high of 75 and a low of 53 as well. Over here in Richmond County, high of uh, uh, 75 for Ellery with a low of 49. Rockingham and Hamlet, high of 76 and a low of 51. Down in Bennettsville, South Carolina, high of 76 and a low of 54, with Waze Girl seeing a high of 72 and a low of 59. And of course, rain is coming tomorrow. Uh, for the next couple of days, as a matter of fact, uh, so we see Wednesday, a high of 76 and a low of 51. With Thursday, also chances of rain at 40% chance, however, in the afternoon. High of 54, low of 33. As we move into Friday, the sunshine is back and it is going to be no clouds whatsoever, but we do have some cooler temperatures coming along. Uh, high of 51, low of 33. And then on Saturday, sunny skies again, as is the case for the rest of the week. Uh, 61 for the high, 39 for the low. And then to look at Sunday, very, very sunny. High of 74, it was 46. Temperatures kind of trending back up again. High of 76, low of 48 on Monday and Tuesday, a high of 78 and a low of 54. So we're going to be looking for some rain this uh, next couple of days, uh, but luckily they'll be gone by the weekend and it's going to be sunshine for as far as we can see. So that's going to go for your Live at 5 weather report and for tonight's edition of Live at 5. Of course, for the latest news, sports, and events happening in Richmond County, you can always visit richmondobserver.com or you can download the free R app for your mobile devices. For the Live at 5 crew, I'm Russell Parker. Thanks for watching and we'll see you tomorrow. Good night, Richmond County.